What is a user flow? Let's talk about it. Today we're gonna to talk about what a user flow is, why they're used, what they look like, and how you can create one yourself. But before we get into it, don't forget to smash that like button before we get in. First, what is a user flow? A user flow helps visualize the path taken by a customer or user on a website or app to complete a task. The user flow takes them from an entry point through a set of steps towards a successful outcome and final action, such as purchasing a product. Let's take a look at this. This user flow that we're looking at right now is a e-commerce flowchart example from casestudy.club. Essentially, what this entire example is showcasing, if somebody's on the e-commerce website and they are trying to purchase purchase a product, what is the actual flow of that look like? They'll be starting on the home page. they go and then look at a product they are interested in, they view the images, they read the description, they might take action and add that product to their basket, they might exit the shop there, or they might continue shopping and actually view their cart, or they might go to the checkout flow. So with that said, hopefully this gives you context for just a small portion or a small example of what a user flow is, taking into consideration the entire experience what a particular user is trying to do within an experience in this case they're trying to purchase a product now what is the importance of a user flow essentially they are used to communicate to your team the end-to-end -end view of a customer's journey and attaining their goal broken down step by step in a way that is easy for your broader team devs project managers stakeholders to understand and where your team can optimize certain areas within their app platform or experience so how do we create user flows ourselves great question first we have to ask ourselves three Three questions. One, who is our customer and or user? Two, what are their goals? And three, what are the steps required for our customer slash users to actually achieve their goals? So let's take a look at a simple example involving pancakes. All right, so we're starting off here. User flow making pancakes. Scenario, Mimi, a parent of three, is trying out a new pancake recipe to cook amazing pancakes for her children. So we're starting off, we're opening up a recipe on our iPhone, we're gathering ingredients, and then the first thing is, do we have have everything. Now, if you guys see here over in our legend, there's particular start and end points, there's actions, and then there's decisions. We've opened up our iPhone to look for recipes. We've gone ahead and gathered our ingredients. Now, the first thing is, do we have everything? And there's options here. If the option is no, are there any available substitutes? If there is, we go back to the yes flow from the previous yes flow. Now, if there are no substitutes available, we just simply go to buy ingredients. And once we finally have all the ingredients, we simply go back to reviewing the recipe. We left the link down in the description for you guys to go and see this example for yourself. It keeps everything pretty simple. So with that said, in creating user flows, it's all about breaking down and reverse engineering each possible step and option a user can take in attempting to accomplish their goal. So we can help and account for ways to help them in getting to their goal a little bit easier and faster. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. We hope that this was a simple explanation of what user flows are. If you've liked this video and you want to continue to learn more about the UI and UX process, Springboard has two amazing courses, each in these areas, and you can use the links below to sign up today. With that said, do not forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the Springboard channel. Brandon Gross and Springboard out. We'll see you on the next one.